Hello, I'm Gary Briggs of Bloodline Bow Fishing, and in this video I'm going to be doing some luminance testing on 110 volt warm white bow fishing lights. Uh, before we get started discussing the lights themselves, I wanted to add a little disclaimer. This is not going to tell you which is going to be the best bow fishing light. As you can see, they vary in shapes and size, shape and size. Um, this will not tell you which will have the best coverage, which will penetrate the best. This is just a apples to apples, straight line comparison in brightness. Uh, as you can see, uh, the COB LED is very, very, very different shape than the rest of them. So naturally the light comes out of that particular housing differently. Um, it tends to spread out more. There's things like this that can skew the results slightly. But what I did was I purchased a Lux meter from Amazon.com and I positioned the Lux meter um, as accurately as possible 60 inches, 5 feet away from the LED light itself. I uh, did my very best to keep them square to each other so that the test would be as accurate as possible. I also purchased a infrared thermometer and I took a um, temperature reading from the back of the housing to see how hot they get um, after a period of 10 minutes. <clears throat> so I tested eight lights. For baseline measurements, I used a 150 watt high pressure sodium. I purchased new from Econolite and a 250 watt halogen light that I purchased new from Home Depot. I use these two lights because they are very common in the world of bow fishing. Um, some people who may not be familiar with LEDs more than likely have fished over high pressure sodiums, so they will be able to work out the difference in their mind when they see that this one has X amount of luminance and this one has Y amount of luminance. <clears throat> the six LEDs I tested, uh, what you have here is a COB LED I purchased directly from the manufacturer in China via Ally Express. Um, this is a new school technology. This here is a $10 eBay cheapo. This light is garbage. Do not buy this light. Um, what you have here is a 50 watt LE that I purchased from Amazon.com. And uh, I reached out to everybody in the bow fishing light community and only two people responded and both of those people um, gave me a light to test. Um, so special thanks to them. Sea light being the first, this is an awesome light. It's very well built, has an awesome bracket, comes pre-wired with a, uh, a plug already on it, comes with uh, heavy duty glass. So special thanks to Sea light for letting me have this light. And then two lights from Custom Fits, also very well built. Um, has uh, the unbreakable glass, comes with better brackets. These are very nice lights. They sent me a hybrid, which is the smaller of the two, and a conventional 50 watt uh, um, to test. So special thanks to Sea Light and Custom Fits for giving me these lights to test. So without further ado, let's get to the testing. Okay, here's how we're gonna do this. We've got a camera on a tripod. We've got a plethora of lights to be tested. Uh, my ladder with a power strip and the ladder will double as a place to set or clamp the light whatever it takes to get in the position I need it and precisely five feet away the lux meter will be on the tripod and what I'm going to do is turn the light on um, give it a little bit of time to warm up and take a reading and on the LED lights I will leave them on for 10 minutes let them fully warm up and also record not only the um, luminous with the Lux meter, but also their temperature. Okay, first up is the 150 watt HPS. As you know, these take quite a long time to warm up, so I will give it a full 10 minutes before I get a, a reading. Here we go. Oh, that beautiful orange light. After about 10 minutes, it is all warmed up, and we will go to the other camera to get a uh, luminous output. Okay, 150 watt high pressure sodium coming in about 935. That's 935 lux for the high pressure sodium. I decided to uh, 
plug the high pressure sodium back in and let it run for a while. So now it's been on for about 20 minutes and I'm getting a reading of 1036. Uh, it occurred to me after I had done the initial test that these bulbs actually break in a little bit and sure as shit after I left it on a, again for the second time it uh well you can see it's already up to 1038 so I think this would actually continue to climb but for the sake of this I'm going to shut it off at 30 minutes calling it 1039 okay the second light to be tested is a standard uh, $13 from Home Depot 250 watt halogen light now these warm up much quicker so it immediately shoots up to 787 okay 250 watt halogen from Home Depot 785 lux 785 lux now I think this is the light the bow fishing community is going to be the most curious about this is the sea light 50 watt Okay, the 50 watt sea light is currently showing a reading of 522. Um, when I initially turned it on, it was showing a reading of 535. So we're going to go with 522. Okay, up next is the LE I purchased on Amazon for $27.99. I'm very uh, curious about this one. Um, I think it's a pretty good light. Very affordable and easy to come by. So let's go to the other camera. Okay, the LE purchased on Amazon for $27.99 is showing a luminance or a lux of 536. That's 536. Okay, okay, here we have the eBay special. Can be had as little as $10, or as I like to call them, the Joel Denisons. Uh, here we go. Well, this is the worst one yet. <laughs> These are junk. Okay, the eBay special. $10 eBay special is coming in at 194 lux. That is 194 lux. They are garbage. On a personal note, I really want these to do well. Uh, I purchased eight of these for my own personal boat. These are the COB LEDs purchased from Ally Express directly from the manufacturer. COB LED is coming in at 425 lux. That's 425 lux for the Ally Express COB LED. Custom Fits sent me uh, two different lights to test. This is the 50 watt here. So here we go. Ooh, that looks bright. That looks real bright. Okay, here we have the custom fits coming in at 666, 667 lux. 666 lux. And the last light to be tested is the second light uh, custom fits sent me. This is what he calls the 50 watt hybrid. hybrid 50 watt putting out 461 lux that's 461 lux okay guys well the data is in I have written it down on this whiteboard 
and you will notice that a large portion of the whiteboard is still open. Um, so that should tell you that I'm going to buy more lights, uh, test them in the future, and write it down here. Um, so what can we say for sure after running a test like this? Um, not much, really. I think we can get rid of the myth that a quality 50-watt LED can replace a 150-watt high-pressure sodium. Um, the data I've collected clearly shows that's not the case. However, uh, watt for watt, the LEDs are in fact brighter. Um, also, that uh, halos are incredibly inefficient. As you can see there, uh, 100 watts more, and yet only 75% of the lux of the high-pressure sodium. Um, if I had an unlimited budget and I was going to purchase an LED, I would purchase the sea lights first um, because of all the things I listed uh, previously. Uh, a close second would be the custom fit standard 50 watt. Um, if I was on a limited budget, I would probably get something like the LE 50 watt from Amazon. Um, that's a great light for under $30. Um, just not quite as well built as the custom fits and the C light. Um, the only light that should be avoided is the eBay 50 watt. It is absolute garbage. It runs hotter and it doesn't uh, have the output of any of the other lights. Once again, a big thanks to C light and custom fits for stepping up and providing me a few lights to test. That was awesome, guys. I'll leave a link to those and all the other lights that I purchased uh, in the notes. Um, please don't hesitate to uh, ask any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them as best I can. And I hope that this information has been useful to you guys. Um, also, please visit uh, Bloodline Bowfishing TV on Facebook and uh, BloodlineBowfishing.com website. Uh, do me a favor and join the BAA. They protect our rights as bow fishermen. And as always, please wear your personal flotation devices while on the water. Thanks, guys.